Be sure to check out my new book, Micro Shelters, on Amazon.com and elsewhere. Tiny houses, tree houses, cabins, shelters, and more. And our new workshop coming up, Brockton Mass, the Fuller Craft Museum, Feb 5th, 6th, and 7th, 2016, RelaxShacks.com. Hey, I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com, New York City Maker Fair 2015, hanging out in my booth. Giant mouse trap contraption thing in the background. You might hear some noise from that. The nerve of them. Here with Tony Kaufman from Voltaic uh, Systems.com is the website, correct? Right. So from Voltaic Solar, behind us, by the way, to give them the plug, we're building a doing a live demo with Tough Text Polycarbonate, which uh, the two together might be working in harmony at some point with some treehouse installations I want to do. Solar powered. But, but Tony, I want you to talk about these uh, these mini solar panels you have here that you brought out. That's right. So we've got our Voltaic System solar panels, uh, our batteries, and our LED lighting systems, which combined are ideal for small lighting and, and especially for off-grid lighting. Okay. So we have here, we have our solar panel, which has a UV resistant urethane coating on the front. It's completely waterproof and weatherproof, snow, rain, heat for years to come. It's durable. Uh, I got an aluminum backing, so it's intensely durable. That would plug into one of our voltaic batteries. This is our medium sized battery, but we also have smaller and larger ones depending on the system that you want to actually use. And then ultimately that plugs into the LED lighting system that we have. This is our voltaic touch light. It's very simple. There's one LED, one cable, and it goes straight into the battery. Well, that's a, it's daylight out right now, that's pretty bright. It's very bright. So with a setup like this, one panel, one hour in the sun, will give you about three hours of runtime with the LED. And this is bright enough, has three different brightness settings. It'll light up a, about a six by six or eight by eight small room, so it's really perfect for anything like tree houses, micro shelters, tool sheds, off the grid cabins, if you had maybe a few set up. It's really ideal for that. Um, like I said, there's three brightness settings that are incredibly bright for any sort of small micro shelter that's off the grid. And it's uh, really cost efficient in the long run. All of these tools are gonna run for, for years and years to come. So there's a really a one-time investment for off-the-grid electricity moving forward. So if you're looking to get off-grid and really save money uh, from your month-to-month your -month or year-to-year -year like cost, then this is definitely the way to go. These panels right here, what is the cost ballpark on these? So this one is about $35 on oh, our okay. website. Okay. Um, and this battery is about $80. We have another one that's $35. Yeah. And the light is $30 as well. So combined, you can get a, a one-room kit for a little bit more than a hundred dollars and with that one-time investment these will all last for years to come um, if any problem happens we replace it and like i said it, it's really ideal for micro shelters that are off grid so it'll it'll keep you going for a long time lots of bright lighting in essence it's almost like a plug and play system it's solar totally solar for dummies right totally plug and play you don't need any technical experience at all um, all of the adapters are designed to fit together without any real thought so uh, you simply take take the adapter from the solar panel, yeah. you plug it into the battery, and then like I showed, the the, bat, the light plugs straight into the battery. So there's no thought, no technical expertise necessary. You can mount it any way you want. Uh, ideally, it's facing the sun. Uh, yeah. Solar panels work best when they're facing the sun. You don't say. Yeah, uh, but you can mount them any way you want. There's screws on the back, so you can use uh, any sort of, of hole, chain, uh, zip tie, yeah. rope, um, string, you can even mount these screws straight in something like metal or wood if it was thin enough. So really any, the, the best way for you that you're familiar with will work with these panels for mounting okay. it. And like I said, since they're so weatherproof and especially waterproof, once you set them outside once, you don't need to be concerned about how they're going to fare with any sort of rain or snow moving forward. Yeah, they look solid. I've used them a couple times in the past, and we're doing a treehouse where, like I said, we're putting them in with some of the tough techs too. Uh, VoltaicSystems.com. VoltaicSystems.com. That's right. VoltaicSystems. Thank you, hey, Tony. Thanks, Deke. Thanks, brother.